Welcome to the Humane Animal Welfare Society's Game of Jet Potty. Today's category is Safety Around Animals. So let's get started and see how much you know. Commonly thought to be an indication of a friendly dog, this behavior actually can express a variety of emotions including happiness, fear, overstimulation, and arousal. What is a wagging tail? Just because a dog's tail is wagging doesn't mean he's friendly. A dog will wag its tail as he's chasing a squirrel up into a tree, but the squirrel wouldn't live very long if he came down to say hello. This animal makes a loud noise with its back feet as a warning when feeling threatened. What is a rabbit? A rabbit will thump its back feet if it senses danger, or if it's annoyed or feeling defensive. Leave a thumping rabbit alone. This animal is commonly thought to be requesting a belly rub when laying on its back, but is more likely to be in a defensive position. What is a cat? While some cats enjoy belly rubs, most do not. A cat lying on its back may be playing, and cats play with their claws and teeth, or it may be getting ready to defend itself. Using this when playing with your cat or dog is most likely to result in a person being scratched or bitten. What are hands? One of the ways both cats and dogs play is by using their mouths to bite or grab, or by swatting with their feet. A safer way to play is by using a toy so that you can keep your skin away from their pointy parts. This human form of affection is almost always considered aversive by dogs and is a common trigger for dog bites. What is a hug? Hugging is a human form of affection but is not a natural behavior by dogs. Dogs will usually tolerate or sometimes even enjoy a hug from their own family members. But it's not safe to hug a dog that isn't a member of your family. The woman in this picture looks happy, but the dog is not. The dog's ears are pulled back, his tail is tucked between his legs, and the tongue is flicking out under his nose. All of these are signs of stress. When a cat is agitated by something he is seeing outside the window, he will often attack or bite a person who attempts to interact with him. This aggressive behavior has a specific label. What is redirected aggression? Redirected aggression occurs when a cat is wound up by another animal, person, or event, but is unable to act on its agitation. Because it's frustrated, the cat will lash out at a person nearby. When walking around this animal, it is safest for you to keep a hand on the animal's body at all times. What is a horse? Keeping your hand on the horse allows him to know where you are. This will keep you safer as the horse is less likely to get startled and kick. People who handle reptiles should keep their hands away from their face and wash their hands immediately afterwards in order to avoid contracting this illness causing bacteria. What is Salmonella? Salmonella is a bacteria that affects the digestive system and can cause people to become very ill. Reptiles can carry Salmonella on their skin. When being threatened by a stray or unfamiliar dog, people should do this so that hopefully the dog loses interest and leaves on its own. What is be a tree? Running and yelling will excite a dog and get him to chase. Avoiding moving or making eye contact makes you boring and it's more likely the dog will leave you alone. You can also be a tree with an overly excited dog or puppy that you know to help them calm down. When a cat's ears are in this position, it means the cat is feeling defensive. What are ears flat against the head? 
This is a sure sign that the cat is scared and feeling defensive. Ears flat against the head may also indicate an angry or aggressive cat. Leave a cat alone when the ears are looking like this. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Jet Potty. Thank you for joining the Humane Animal Welfare Society today.